if you're struggling with impact.com, let's say you applied and they are telling you that it doesn't meet the MSA standards or that you have a high risk domain. And for that reason, they've refused to accept you into the program. This video is going to help you fix that issue. So if you're having that um, does not meet the MSA standard or high risk domain, make sure to watch this video to the end. And if this video helps you like the video and subscribe to the channel. So my name is Good Noel and I talk a lot about impact.com and this is because this is my favorite affiliate marketplace. And so far I have gotten plenty accounts approved for myself and for some other persons that I help. And these are the issues, these are the common issues you are going to face with impact.com. I personally think that impact is very lenient and they are like the easiest to get into even though they have very quality brands they are like the easiest to get into i've tried plenty of free marketplaces like clickbank and um, a whole lot of them and they are more strict than um, this platform so i've gone on here to make a simple list that we are going to talk about these are the things that you have to fix if you want to be accepted if you have that issue of msa standards and high risk domain this is going to help you but before then i went to check out the term of use by impact and what the msa means and after reading it i decided to summarize it so that you understand what they mean and simply what the msa means it means a master standard agreement and what that, that simply means is an agreement that allows you to work with impact or allows impact to work, work with you for a very long time. So it's like the a binding agreement that says that you people can work for a very long time. And the psychology behind this is this. If impact goes through your, your request and they don't see that ability to work with you for a very long time they are just going to reject you so we are going to talk about some of the things that would make them not want to work with you for a very long time so again what the master agreement simply means is an agreement that makes it possible for both of you to work for an extended period of time so anything that will affect that lengthy relationship they are going to turn you down so i made a list and the first here is this if you do not have a big social media handle because when you want to sign in on impact they allow you to use your social media pages but if you do not have an active social media pages don't use a, a dormant one or a blank one or one that doesn't have followers or engagement on the page they are not going to accept it because the entire idea of this is because they want you to build audience so if you do not have an audience they are not going to accept you. So the best approach is to use a website. Most times, in short, 100% of the times I use a website, I get approved because websites are just more standard. So if your social media pages are not that big or active, don't use it, just use a website, all right? So the number two thing is um, use correct profile information. And what I mean is this, some persons when they create account, let's say I'm in Nigeria, and after creating account, I now go and start using a USA profile and all of that. They are going to turn down this account. So if you are going to create the profile, impact is very lenient. You don't, you, you don't need a VPN. They accept almost every part of the world. So there is no reason for you to be using fake profile. So make sure to use a correct profile because if they go through your, um, your profile and they see that what you submitted is different from what they can tell, are not going to accept all right so the third step is this make sure your website or blog is not empty or in construction so you have to have some content on the website the easiest way to do this if you want to do blogging but you don't have blog yet the easiest way to do this is to create a small business website let's say a digital marketing website it can be a portfolio page just make it active all right and use it so don't use um um um, generic templates or placeholders and apply or if your website is still in construction don't do that 
So again, you want to provide them with something that makes it easy for them to see that is a long-term game because that's what the master um, standard agreement is about. So the number um, um, fourth step here is don't use an empty domain or a fresh domain. If you register a domain today, don't go and use it to apply. They will not accept. So you need to give your domain some time. Take that time and construct your website at least two weeks three weeks one month is fine don't just register a domain today and apply today they will um, most likely reject you so the other one is uh, make sure that there are categories there are some niches that are called gray areas and most platforms don't like that so for instance gambling pornography sex related um, addictions firearms and all of that most um, platforms don't like that so you want to go through the niches on the website the, the kind of website they accept so if your website is under some of these categories they will not accept it so the only way to do this is to switch your niche change your niche and make your niche what is more relevant to what they want they will accept so i think that's that's way straightforward so the next step is the website should be easy to navigate. Again, don't use placeholders to block everywhere. Your website should be very simple. Again, they are lenient, so just use a simple um, layout. Use grid layout or use a, a portfolio page and you should be fine. So your website should be very easy to navigate. When people come to your website, it should not be hard. Again, we basically talked about this. Don't use different profile addresses. You do not need to use a VPN. You can use your correct information. I'm from Nigeria and I have multiple accounts and they have never taken me down because I am assessing it from Nigeria or anything like that. So don't use conflicting profile or account information. And when you are filling your account information, try to fill everything. Try to upload the picture, try to put address, try to put your business and all of that. Look like a real human being or a real business because nobody wants to deal with bots. So that again does not allow them to accept you if you don't do it properly. This is actually important and this is for the high risk domain. So if you use shared hosting, what happens is that your hosting company is sharing the server with you and the host of other persons. And sometimes they are going to put your, depending on the host you use, they are going to put your website in the same server that shares the same IP address with some very spammy websites. And again, nobody likes spam. So what you can do is to reach out to your website host to get your IP address and you can check which other websites are using the same IP address. So if you get high risk domain, that means your domain is likely tied up to spam site. It's connected to spam sites or they share the same IP address. What you can do in this case is to get a dedicated IP address from your provider. If you cannot, that means you might just need to change your hosting. You can basically move your hosting to another trusted web um, hosting company. Now, the other one is to fix the issues and reapply with a new email account. So if you apply with one email and they turn it down, you need to apply with another email account. So fix all the issues I've stated right here. Check any anyone that your website or your profile is breaching and then fix it and create a new email address. Use another email address different from the one you used initially. This is important. If you use the same email address, they will not be accepting you. Then the last but not the least, most people will be wondering if they can use the same domain name after being rejected. Yes, just fix the issues you have and then you can reapply. After fixing the issue, you can use the same blog to reapply. These are the steps that you need to take to fix this MSC standard, does not meet MSC standard or high risk domain. I hope this video was helpful. Please tell me in the comment section and like this video if it was helpful. And you can check out my fullimpact.com um, video. I talk about everything about impact and you can check it out in the description of this video. 
Um, thank you for watching. My name is Goodnell. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.